Hi, and welcome to another episode of Hot Takes with me, the Silver Fox. We have a sort of story here where the SNP have got a policy completely wrong again. Say it ain't so. Uh, this time they're spending a quarter of a million pounds to try and stop the promotions of what they define as junk food. Things like buy one, get one free uh, and special deals and things like that. Um, this is at a time, of course, of the cost of living crisis. And for some, these meal deals uh, are, are absolutely vital. The fact that, you know, they can more or less feed their family for half price if they can. Uh, and yet the Scottish government want to stop it. And what's worse, they're wasting public money doing so. It seems very, very odd. Now, we will look at the story. We'll see what's going on. Uh, before we just dive into it, can I just say... Do check you're still uh, subscribed. YouTube is still doing it. They're still unsubscribing people randomly. Um, and I'm still getting messages from people saying, oh, YouTube's unsubscribing. I've not unsubscribed. Uh, and you can watch and it's very weird for this to happen. I think it's because we're a political channel uh, and it's, it's something YouTube does not like, political channels. The, um, the algorithm has a factor there and it pushes down political channels. So do please check you are still subscribed. And if you've never subscribed, now is an ideal time to do so. Your subscription really massively helps because as I say, we are a political channel and therefore uh, we, we get pushed down. And so by subscribing, you, you push that out and you increase that algorithm lift and it really massively helps the channel. That and as well, like the video, really important. Anyway, we'll go in, we'll take a look at this story and see why uh, yet another policy is failing and it is working against the hard pressed, hard up, fed up people of Scotland. Here goes. So SNP ministers waste £250,000 on attempts to outlaw junk food promotions, a six years promise paused by Hamza Yousaf. Now, why are they getting involved? It's up to the people that make these products to say how they want to sell them, how they want to produce them. You know, you can't micromanage everything, although the SNP does try. But just because it's junk doesn't mean people aren't going to have to eat it. For some people, that is all that they can afford. Now, yes, you could argue, oh, well, if you buy fresh food and all that, it's cheaper. It's cheaper to buy the fresh food. Yes, I agree. But then you've got the cost of cooking it. And given how, how expensive electricity, for example, is, um, you know, that, that adds on to the cost of the food. It is a significant cost. And it can just be cheaper sometimes just to go, oh, look, here's a pre-packed food, ping 90 seconds in a microwave, then sit there, cut, chop, burn, flash fry this, that, in the oven, make a lasagna. Takes a while. You know, you've got costs involved. It's more than that. And sometimes a little pound fifty pop in lasagna is just enough for your lunch. Who wants the effort? Anyway, the Scottish Government has been blasted for squandering taxpayers' cash on attempting to ban the likes of meal deals and bog-offs after working on the policy for six years and then pausing it under the new First Minister. They've been working on this for six years. How can anyone work on anything for six years and not implement it? It's ridiculous. This is just... It's typical of a government that doesn't know what it's doing and that is filled with incompetence, isn't it? Six years still hasn't been brought in because they want to ban junk food or they want to ban the promotion of junk food. How can it possibly take six years? Anyway, the Scottish Government have squandered more than a quarter of a million pounds of taxpayers' cash on failed attempts to outlaw junk food promotions. Also, the cost of all those salaries for six years. This is going to be a lot more than a quarter of a million, isn't it? Um, anyway, it's, it's like meal deals and the buy one, get one free, the bog-offs. Uh, with legislation being pushed into the long grass yet again by Hamza Yousaf earlier this year. Nicola Sturgeon initially announced plans to restrict the promotion of food that is and drink that is high in fat, sugar or salt uh, in her programme for government in 2017-18. And it would see the likes of crisps, soft drinks, cakes and sweets becoming more expensive in a bid to help curb obesity in Scotland. It, the cake isn't making you fat. It's your 14th cake that's making you fat. Uh, why would you punish people and manufacturers you start putting the price artificially high on these foods, you're going to start putting people on the dole because these companies are going to say, well, you know, we've, we've, we've put the prices up according to what you want. People aren't buying them anymore. Uh, we don't need to produce as many. And so we've just fired, you know, 20% of our staff. 
the cost of that on the dole is more than the money raised from the tax on the sugar. But then again, you know, intelligence, not something the SNP are noted for. Uh, these restrictions including banning supermarkets from putting items such as those uh, on sale, plus getting rid of unhealthy meal deals, and also unlimited refills of soft drinks with added sugar, like the kind you get at Nando's. And again, we like free bottomless drinks. It's a thing. Stop interfering. Stop micromanaging. The rules would also apply to shops, takeaways, cafes, restaurants and delivery services. And the SNP executive had consulted on these rules twice and are set to do so again by the end of the year after Mr Yousaf stopped it from progressing back in May. Six years. I mean, this for six years. And, this is, and the reason, of course, is that all these businesses keep saying to them, if you do that, you're going to destroy our businesses. You're going to destroy the entire industry and people will lose their jobs. He knows this and he's probably still going to go ahead with it because he's stupid. Instead of primary legislation to be voted on by MSPs and go through the committee process, it's expected to reappear as secondary legislation, which means that it can move through Parliament quicker. But the huge spend on the process so far, which is £262,000, has been blasted by opposition critics who pointed out that it is precious public money that is being squandered. Scottish Tory Deputy Health Spokesman Tess White told the Scottish Daily Express, this is another example of the SNP government squandering taxpayers' cash on half-baked ideas. Because they're morons, they, they don't know what else to do. They've got this bee in their bonnet and say, oh, we must do this. And if they stop, it looks like a failure. So they've got to keep pushing with it, even though everyone who's, who knows anything about it knows it's stupid. And for some of these things, as I say, if you've got one of these little uh, pop-in meals and they're doing a two-for-one offer at your local, I've got to say gateway, that hasn't even been a thing for 20 years, but your local uh, Tesco's or something. I don't know where gateway comes from. Anyway... You know, you're going to get them, aren't you? Because, you know, it's like if you've got kids, for example, you know, one of the little pop-in meals, bing, bing, 90 seconds in a the microwave, there's your lunch, kids, and it's half price. You know, especially with food prices going through the absolute roof at the moment. What are you going to do? Why would you deliberately impoverish people? You, The people that would actually be damaged here, of course, are poor children. They're going to be the worst affected. And that's what this legislation would do. It would actually adversely affect the poor of society. And they talk about progressive taxation and progressive this and all that and all the help for the poor. And yet this one policy will do more to harm the poor than anything else. It's just ridiculous. Uh, anyway, at a time when they, this is uh, Joss White as well, at the time that they are, um, did I say Joss White, Tess White, uh, at a time when they're imposing swinging cuts on public services, it's galling to see resources wasted on a consultation that's then dropped on a whim by Hamza Yousaf. Uh, Public Health Minister Jenny Minto confirmed earlier this year that they would be pausing the consultation and bringing a new one to Parliament. Uh, she said, I plan to consult on the detail of the proposed regulations this autumn. They can't get away from the fact that people need help with purchasing food, especially for families. And any kind of offer is often welcomed. Bog-offs, you know, I've, I've, I've actually seen... Um, my local Asda, they did a special, and I can't remember what it was on, pizzas or something, whatever it was. Uh, and it was buy one, get one free, or buy one, get one half price, something like that. Um, and these people were out there, and they were just like putting five and six of these things on because they didn't know how long the the, um, the offer would last. So you go, you might five, buy five or six of these, but you're just filling up kind of thing. Of course, they're going to freeze it, aren't they? They're going to freeze it. Uh, and away they go. Um, but it's it's there and it helps. It means they've got food in that fridge, freezer, wherever, for quite some time at a price that is more affordable to them. And just because some minister sits there with a bee in their bonnet and going, oh, we can't have this. Look, they're pushing this unhealthy food. What are you going to do? Make these people who are at the bottom of the social ladder even more miserable, even more poverty stricken just so you can look virtuous and say, yes, but at least then children aren't eating salt and sugar and shit. No, they're not eating anything. They're starving. They're withering away in front of your eyes. Pricks. Anyway, I'll stop. I will round up and I will come up. But you just can't believe the stupidity of these people. And they sit there and they think they're doing good. You know, oh, look at us. We're doing, we're doing this. We're virtuous and marvellous and fantastic. You're starving children. That's what you're doing. 
Anyway, coming up. So there we go. It's another example of a failure to do some joined up thinking. You know, it's uh, what do you have? The law of unintended consequences. They sit there and go, oh, yes, but look, we can improve the health. And we can do this and this and this and all this bullshit that they come up with all the time. Try to look magnanimous and fantastic and brilliant and not seeing that the actual effect of what they're doing is going to impoverish those at the bottom of the ladder even more by refusing to allow them to buy what isn't great food, but is at least cheap food. And at the moment, cheap, bad food is better than expensive, good food. If you can't afford the expensive, good food. You know, and, and that's where we're at now. You've actually got a government working against people uh, and planning, literally planning to impoverish them further and to cause malnutrition, you know, because people can't afford the good stuff. The very least they can get is the cheap, bad stuff. Joined up thinking, guys. Come on. Come on. Do it when times are good. Do it when you don't have poverty. Do it when food prices aren't at a historical all-time high. Anyway, I shall stop there. Thank you very much for watching. I hope this has uh, educated and enlightened and informed and, uh, and entertained, of course, and entertained. Anyway, until next time, stay safe, stay well, keep watching, and the truth will come out. Bye.